This is a tutorial video on connecting the underground line locators to Utilipad. To begin, make sure your VLOC line locator is on before opening Utilipad. That way, it will automatically pair to the device when we open our job. So, obviously I'm going to go up here and delete my old demo job, and I'm going to create a new one. We're going to call this particular one VLOC so that I can recognize it when it's time to download it. Okay, so hit save on VLOC, simply click on the job name as described before, and it opens up. Notice our icon has four GPS dates. It's currently red, which means it's an invalid fix. It'll take a few minutes to pick up your GPS. It then turns orange, which means an autonomous GPS fix, yellow meaning an SBAS GPS fix, and green meaning a corrected either VRS or Omnistar type L-band correction. What I'm doing is enabling tap to place because I'm going to actually place my initial location instead of collecting at my exact GPS position. This is not uncommon. You may often want to do this. Place the beginning of your line back at a building or back at your transmitter and then collecting with the locator as you move forward. So I'm coming in, creating a location, calling it a station. Notice I forgot to choose my line before opening my location, so I'm going to manually assign it to an underground line, and then go back up to my lines on the top right hand corner and select underground so that my next location will remember it's on the underground line. At this point, I'm going to go to my locator, click the I button, which grabs a depth, then click plus, which will actually log the depth. I receive a high frequency whistle, which means that a valid locate is received from my locator. It automatically stores a GNSS position and attaches the depth, current, and frequency information all automatically and closes. The beauty of this is it could be sitting inside my pocket on an iPhone or an iPad in a safety vest pocket. I don't even have to touch the face of the screen. I can hear the audible tones. I walk down, I collect another one, get my whistle to know that it's collected, and you notice it's automatically calling each of these stations. I'm going to click on one of them and hit edit, just to show you that the depth is still displayed. Even though we only display depth there under the sensor data, uh, we're actually recording all the information that is sent from that particular locator. So I can cancel out of this, go back to the main screen. And I'm going to walk a little bit further and just collect one more location. That way I can have several locations for us to analyze later when we download it. Now at this point, what I'm going to do is I want to show that we could switch to another line. Uh, to do this, we're going to go up to our line menu, again on the top right. And I'm going to choose to do an overhead line now. Remember, the line types are, are flexible. You tell us what you want to see. What I'm going to do is manually place this, but that I could be locating this with my locator, jumping over to the other line, collecting my point. Even though I manually saved this, I'm um, simul simulating that I would have collected this with the locator, which automatically parents back to my other line. So all I have to do is edit it, click on the parent, and then click save without actually choosing a point and it sets it to no parent. So if I want to switch between lines it's very very easy to clean up. I can either do it as I'm collecting or I can do it after I'm done collecting when I'm reviewing my data. And I've collected another location. You can see all of those are called stations and created lines. The buzz you just heard is actually the locator disconnecting. I wanted to do that to show you what sound you would hear if you accidentally turn the locator off or if you lose Bluetooth. So if you hear that buzz, you would simply come in, turn off the software, relaunch it, and it will reconnect to the locator. That concludes collecting underground data with Utilipad.